Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now, in this lesson, we're going to be explaining how to use the Hans Ver Dictionary. Now, I do have lessons on this, but we're going to go into a bit more detail. In this lesson, I'm going to be explaining Huruf Jar and how they are associated with verbs to give them meaning. Now, one of the two verbs mentioned in Book 1 of the Mdir books is Kharaja. Now, Kharaja can have a number of meanings. So let's see the meanings that this verb has. So we have here kharaja, kharaja, that's the past tense verb. And the present tense, or the mudara, is yakhruju, with a wow. And that's indicated by this you. The mustar, the verbal noun is khuruj. And its main meaning is to go out, to walk out, or to come out. So kharaja muhammadun min al bayt. Muhammad came out from his house. Now this verb is usually used with min. And when it's used with min, it has a number of meanings. Here it means to emerge. So kharaja min. And the thing that the doer emerges from is mentioned after the harf jar. So the example I gave you, min al bayt. And here it says min from. And that's how it's usually translated, from. Now kharaja min also could mean to drive or to ride out or to go out in a vehicle, to flow out, to extrude, if used, to go away, depart, leave, retire, to protrude, project, stick out, to leave. And it says here min and something. So something means an entity, not a living thing. So in other words, to dismount from something, to alight, to disembark, min. To get out, to step out. So we could say, for example, Kharaja Muhammadun min sayyara. Muhammad left the car. He stepped out of it. Also, min is used with the meaning of of. To emanate, to issue, to arise, to originate, to result. Now, here is a new entry. Or not a new entry, but a new meaning. To draw away. To segregate, to separate. So it means to depart or to leave. And the harf jar an is used. Kharaja an. Now, an example of this is the sect, the first sect in Islam, Al Khawarij, which the Prophet ﷺ spoke about. They left Islam because of their interpretations of the Quran that were against the teachings. And they considered Muslims as non-Muslims. And they used the Qur'an for their own agenda to cause fitna between the Muslims. So we could say, for example, speaking about the Khawarij, Kharaju anil jama'a, that they deviated or they segregated or they drew away from the main body of Muslims. So it also means to disagree. So Kharaja'an to disagree. Kharaja'an al-Qur'an. He disagreed with the Qur'an. It also means to deviate, to depart, an, from an arrangement or from a principle. To be an exception also. So if we, have, we have some rules. Kharaja'an al-Hukm. That he departed or that he, he made it an exception. To the rule. Also here, to be outside a given subject, to go beyond a topic, to exceed, to be alien, to be extraneous, not to belong, be not included, have nothing to do with it. So all these meanings are possible with an. And they all have the same general meaning, to depart or to draw away from something. So the mean to come out, an to draw away. Also, other meanings we have here. It's here ala against. So kharaja ala. Now ala is a harf isti'la. It indicates over something. So here kharaja ala means to rebel, to revolt, to violate, break, infringe. 
upon a rule, a regulation, for example, a government. If you, for example, somebody wants to revolt against the government, we say, خرج على الحكومة that they rebelled or revolted against the government. Now, also we can use more than one harf jar with the same verb. An example here is given, خرج عليه ب. So the the ba is a harf jar, and after it comes it's a majrur. But here, خرج عليه means that he came upon him. And the harf jar after it, and the isim majrur that comes after it, will indicate with what he came with. خرج عليه also means to confront somebody. So you're fed up with this person, for example, and you come up to him, and you confront him. And what do you confront him with? B, for example, الحق. خرج عليه بالحق. He confronted him with the truth. So here we have the, the ba, someone, with someone. خرج ب. For example, I could say خرج بمحمدين. He left and alongside him, with him, was Muhammad. That's what the harf jar, the ba, indicates. Close proximity. And here it's to lead away or dissuade. To cause somebody to change his opinion, for example. Or to physically lead somebody away from something. So in this case, you'd use the harf jar, the ba, before the an. So for example, I say, خَرَجْتُ بِمُحَمَّدٍ عَنِ الطَّرِيقَ So, I left, and they can be interchanged. Not necessarily the ba before the an. We could have say, عَنِ الطَّرِيقَ بِمُحَمَّدٍ That's possible as well. So the order of the harf, jar, is majrur, more than one is mentioned, can be, actually, has leeway. There's, there's actually, you can actually, interchange the positions. Why you would choose one over the other, that's the topic of Balagha. And then here, finally, um, it says, خَرَجَ عَنِ الخط. To be derailed or run off the track. الخط is like a boundary. It means to go outside the boundary. And then we come to the form two verb. We haven't covered. We'll cover this later on, inshallah. The different forms. Now, another harf jar that I'll speak about is the following. We have this ayah in the Quran. This is talking about shajratul zakum. Innaha shajratun takhruju fi asli jahim. Indeed, it is a tree issuing from the bottom of hellfire. Fi. So takhruju fi. So we have the harf jar fi being used. Now fi is used as a dharf, as we said. It indicates in something. By using fi, it indicates that shajaratul zakum, that the tree of zakum is actually originally part of the hellfire, that it comes from it. And here it says from the from the bottom of the hellfire, from its core, you could say. So May Allah save us from this shajara and from hellfire. I mean, but the point is here: the fi is being used to get in something. So kharaja fi. It could also be used, for example, let's say an army left. So this army left to go to the battle, and there's a person who's speaking and says kharaj to fil jaish. So in other words, he was with them inside the jaish. So you can think of this as the jaish. And he's inside them, physically inside them, meaning that he was surrounded by them. Kharaja bil jaish will also indicate close proximity to the jaish, to the army. But fi would indicate that he's right in the center or in the middle where they are. So he's amongst them. The b could indicate that he's with them. Kharaja an al jaish, he left them. Kharaja al al jaish, he revolted against them. So you see th how the meaning changes. Subhanahu rabbika rabbil azati amma yasifun. Wassalamu ala mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.